All right, I'm here with Bo Beatty of Wilderness Ridge Trail Llamas. Bo's obviously been on a bunch of our content. If you've seen any of the hunts with llamas, he's the llama guy. If that's okay to call you. Llama near. Llama near. <laughs> but anyway, so we've like got a crash course in llamas over over the last couple of years with Bo coming on hunts and then Randy running llamas. But we wanted to take a couple llamas out on a summer trip, and it just so happened that it worked out this year where we could do that. And we figured we'd shoot a video basically on what it entails to rent a llama from Bo. Because there's a lot of questions people have. We're basically wondering, what does it take to rent a llama from you? What do you have to do? How much does it cost? What, like, what, what does it all entail? And how do, how do people do it? Yeah, well, that's a good question. And I think the, I just kind of jump in with the biggest thing is people always want to know, like, how do I get the llamas to where I'm going to go? Right. And so we rent out trailers like this, and we also have stock racks. And you'll see my Tundra over there has a stock rack in it. I can put two llamas in that. This is a 12-foot trailer, about six and eight wide, and you can put easily seven or eight in here and travel in the distance. So we rent out the trailers. You just have to have a towing vehicle. They can tow, you know, five or 6,000 pounds. You know, large SUVs, 1,500-type um, trucks can do it, no problem. And then uh, we, everyone ha that comes to our ranch that wants to rent llamas has to do a course. Okay. And so you can rent llamas in Montana and had a Bozeman, Helena, Missoula. You can rent them here at our facility. And this is our main facility here in Idaho Falls. And you have to do a four hour clinic where we kind of go over all the details, you know, and do hands on of all the training. Everyone gets to pack the llamas, work with the llamas. And beforehand, what we do is we send out our llama packing manual. It's about 54 pages, kind of goes through all the details of what it takes to pack with llamas, the leave no trace um, policies and procedures that we have in place first aid, and it has diagrams of how to saddle them, take care of them, poisonous plants in the backcountry. It kind of goes everything. So if people come prepared to our clinic, it goes pretty fast. And so you can take the clinic, you know, two months in advance before you're going to take them if you live locally, or you can come and take them the night before the day you're actually leaving. So after you get the clinic, um, basically if you're going to go that day, you've taken the clinic, you know, you've paid your deposit, you pay your final balance when you pick up the llamas, or you load up all the gear and equipment. And a lot of times the panniers, the bags that we put on the llamas, will help you load all those up, weigh them out, and then send you on the trail. The llamas are well-trained. They have tons of experience. They're also very expensive. And so is the gear and equipment. And you can worry about all these things. What's going to happen to them? How are we going to do this? And I say, you got to just go with confidence when you're renting llamas and know that we've been doing it for nine years. And this is technically, you know, we're, we'll be starting our season 10. And we've had you know, great success doing it and people enjoy it. And that's why we keep doing it is because people really, really get a lot out of it. Whatever it takes to get you in the back country and have a good time, you know? Yeah. And then, so yeah, I think, I guess, I mean, I, I'm sure you, you feel so many questions, Yeah. but I'm at, yeah. I, one of the big ones for me, I know was like how much they can carry. And like I, the biggest surprise to me is that you can carry an elk. Two llamas realistically can get out an elk. But if you're shooting older age class bulls, um, this, you'd be out of the standard of what you're actually harvest, harvesting, right? Mm -hmm. Of what the, what the norm would be. And so therefore you would need something out of the standard of what you're gonna pack out. Gotcha. Which would be three llamas. So if yeah. you wanna be safe and secure, three llamas, and Randy likes to take four, because obviously, you know, you wanna get your elk out in one trip and your camp. Mm -hmm. And typically four llamas would get, you know, two guys and an elk out and your camp all in one trip. Yeah. So that way you're not carrying anything on your back. So if you're going for solo backpacking or even, you know, partnership backpacking, hunting, and then add two llamas, it's just totally a game changer. And so most people will do that for a couple of years yeah, because it's so much better than backpack um, hunting as far as packing out elk and deer. And then they'll go to four, like, man, that's it. We want to do one trip and get out. Do you, and even going the op, like the other way, do you get people who just have them as a, like at base camp just to pack animals and yeah. for something like that in big um, hunting camps where it's family oriented you come come together at night and then spread out in the day mm -hmm. and then when someone gets an elk that person can sit there and shuttle elk meat with a pair of llamas where everyone else keeps and hunt, still hunts right. anyway yeah those are really good questions uh, i'd say the the biggest question that we probably get across the board is you know logistical it's like hey i'm coming in from nebraska i really want to hunt elk um, or, you know, I'm going to fly in. Where do I fly into? It's like, well, we're really centrally located. So mm -hmm. if someone wants to fly in, they can fly into Salt Lake. That's the cheapest flights. Salt Lake City, Utah, Jackson Hole, Wyoming, Bozeman, Montana, or Idaho Falls, Idaho. It's just a small airport. So people fly in. I say, and if they're going to rent llamas, they just go get a U-Haul pickup. Oh, really? Get a U-Haul. It's cheap. It's the cheapest thing out there. And they have receiver hitches. A lot of vehicles, like when you go rent like an SUV, 
that they don't have receiver hitches or towing packages, you know, or a pickup truck. And U-Haul is one of the only ones that almost every single pickup truck has, you know, a receiver hitch so you can pull a trailer. Yeah. But they're single calves and they have these long old beds. So we throw an eight foot stock rack in there, which you can put four llamas in. And I see people awesome. showing up the trailheads with llamas, orange panniers, which is our trademark, and a U-Haul pickup truck. <laughs> That's so awesome. But it works, man. And so oh, yeah. that's become like the U-Haul company calls us. It's like, hey, we got another renter, another person taking llamas. Is it you? It's like, who do else do you think it is, you know? <laughs> yeah. And some people for like, will come from Washington and want to hunt the sawtooth, for example. And so what we do is we meet them somewhere at one of our friend's ranches up there or something. Or yeah. we meet them at a private land location. We'll drive the llamas up there to them. They'll come down from Washington, meet us at my buddy's ranch, you know, around Stanley. And then they'll take the llamas from that location and go. And so we charge a mileage fee, basically it's like a dollar a mile um, to get them up there and back. But that way it saves them eight hours, oh, yeah. which is a full day. Like time is money, man, you mm -hmm. know, and time away from family is time that you should be hunting. If you're not hunting, you're wasting it. That's, that's how you feel, you know, yeah, you just want to get sure. to the mountains. You don't want to waste time. So that's the, that's the logistics we've been sorted through. And we kind of got a good system now, but it's taken a while to figure it all out. Yeah. We appreciate you guys coming and taking them and, helping us, uh, you know, show folks what it's all about. You know, we love it. And I think the only reason why it continues to grow and progress is because people realize how simple it is and how easy it is, you know, yeah. um, compared to anything else that they've probably done at that point, you know. And it really changes experience, especially if you're used to doing everything on your own. Or, uh, and people, you know, they don't have to have horse experience. They don't have to have llama experience. But they have to be good with animals, you know. And uh, they should have to come and pay attention and take care of these guys and away you go. So it's really, really simple, and uh, man, it sure has made my life wonderful, and I really, really enjoy it. This year with COVID, usually we'd be so busy. Mm -hmm. Right now we're so slow, and we could really use the, the business, really. You yeah. Know? And so if you guys have any, uh, any questions, feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to get more business this year to, you know, just keep growing and stabilize what COVID's kind of put us through this year. So yeah, so it sounds like it's a great time to, if you're, if you're thinking about running them, it's like, a great time to dip your toes in the water. Yeah, absolutely. Because a lot of times it's super busy, but right now it's perfect. Yeah. Come, Get out and scout it. those areas. Come take the llamas. And, and even uh, for fall rentals for hunting, like still got plenty. Yeah, left, yeah. Right. You know, we have some left in September, and then October is and November are wide open. And usually, you know, what is it? Uh, early July. We're usually booked out entirely by now. And so we've had so many cancellations and given so many deposits back. So. Yeah, if you're looking to go, it's a great year to try it out. And uh, we got some good discounts, you know, use promo code Randy for 10% off. Well, that's pretty much it for the Llama Rentals summer operation and fall operation. So if you guys have any questions, give me a call. And my number's in the description, but you also can go to our website, wildernessridgetraillamas.com or rentlamas.com. And we're based at Idaho Falls, Idaho, and we operate in five states and can help you out. And if we can't help you out, one of our friends that uh, has operations outside of where we operate can help you out. So reach out to us, we'd love to talk to you guys. And if you're planning a trip next year, it's always good to get on the horn and think about everything beforehand. So give us a call, thanks for watching.